All right, guys, welcome back to another one. Um, I've got a fun little meet here. Uh, it's a great location, and we're gonna hang out with some friends, and I'm gonna show you some fun cars. So I'm kind of taking my time on my walk because, all right, you guys can see it over my shoulder. I've got a beautiful right-hand drive ITR, a beautiful right-hand drive CTR, um, I've got some killer, what is it, EK, S2, EG, and like, um, it's, so, I'm gonna walk you guys around. I'm gonna talk about some of these cars that are out here. Uh, we've got the shop space, we've got Ice Ice Baby back there. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what's out here. Today's a, today's a fun special one. It's supposed to be more track themed cars. So we're gonna run through and, um, like I said, it's going to be a blast. I'm going to show you guys what's out today. Um, all right, let's 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 get at it and uh, let's go have some fun. That was the first thing we all started talking about when you pulled up. Ah, oh, that is cool. It's fun. Yeah, it is fun. Yeah. For a daily, yeah. Yeah. So I'm 8 PSI, making a 170 wheel. That's good. Yeah. On a little D-series? Yeah. <laughs> I have a little D-series. Yeah. A little prevention. Did you get anything to eat it? Anyway, uh, it's not hooked up. It's not hooked up. You know, like, uh, hey, but anyway, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna come around, shit, man, get your shit all washed up, or like, uh, I, I spit me out, you know what I'm saying? Go to, uh, you know what I'm saying, where is it? Was it on trash? Where is it? Where are we at? Yeah, on trash, right? Where are we at? Yeah, on trash, yeah, on trash. Yeah, yeah that's where on we're trash, at. On trash, right? Yeah, yeah, that's where we're at, right? Trash. So coming down, come on down, where as that baby's at, you know, hey, get your car all washed up or assed out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so, that is absolutely the best interview. I have I have done to date. Um, I I have no idea what just happened, but it was absolutely hilarious. Um, all right, so if I keep it, that'll that'll be a trip. Um, let me let me show you guys what else we got out here. All right. All right, guys. So let's walk and talk a little bit. Like I said, um, so one of the newer, not the newest generation, but one of the newer generations, uh, a Civic dumped out TEs, running orange and black theme. Um, I mean, this is this is kind of the newer generation of where it goes. Everything's everything's carboned. Now, the one I want to talk about, because we were talking with the owner and everything else, is this little EG. So this little EG running a D-Series with turbo. So it makes, you know, somewhere just shy of 200 to the wheels with on this little eg that's uh, i mean that's that's the way to go look like you can see the yeah. Yeah. turbo set up on it it's sewer oh see he's gonna get started again <laughs> um so oh my man it's my man no! <laughs> so super clean nice thick set of wheels up front it's all stock or at least look stock inside which which is super cool like uh again you guys know how i feel about feel about the hondas hey i really enjoy when they're when they, they when they're done simply you know you can you can do a full show car that's something different but for him this is his driver you know he's got a little wider set of front fenders on the front uh, 
little D series turbo and you know it's a it's a runner so it's definitely that's definitely one of the cool ones that's out today uh, nice simple Integra he doesn't have the hood pop so I can't tell you guys what's underneath but nice and easy uh, you know just the way they should be we've got um, EK on some Inkies uh, in this is kind of the direction I would do suspension wheels simple exterior brid seats and and it's gutted you know got the half gut in the back you know and he's got his he's got his little pups with him like that's that's all it needs you don't need much more than that most of the time <laughs> so nice and simple on that it's really clean and then next to it is the polar opposite so we had this beautiful mustang come in and uh this is this is definitely fully done full race full everything else hey, my, daddy cut, my daddy cut you off bro no you good man you see the yeah, yeah. Yeah. we got to oh so see we did we did get him to pop the hood it just has an ITR block, that's it. See? That's it, did a, two, it did 219. Oh, nice yeah. and clean. It was just, you know, nothing serious. Yeah. So, you not just serious, what the fuck? But, uh, I mean, I had, like, when I had, I had the Big Mac to show stuff, you know, like the red valve cover, the yeah. market header. Yeah. I just had this for, like, uh, in case I ever get popped. They look underneath. No. Oh, nice, and, nice and nice and clean. No, the it has gives, the, the only thing that gives away is the fuel rail. Yeah. It just it just depends. It just depends on who's who's really looking at it. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. It just depends on who's really. The guy looking has at it. the guy has the knowledge. Yeah, and then the Comtec box. Yeah. You know, you got your you got your carb number on it and everything it else. Ahead, man. It yeah. ahead, man. Oh yeah, ITR exhaust. Ah, Full ITR. All, yeah, yeah. That's cool. It's an RS, so it's a poor man's ITR, you know what I'm saying? No, no, it's cool. <laughs> I like it. No, it's cool, man. It's a fun car, dude. Yeah. It's a very fun car. Poor man's ITR. Cool. This is full, fully cool. G-Zone, man. So, then we've got a uh, we got nice, beautiful stock S2000. Um, she just picked it up. Uh, I think she said like a week ago or something. So, I don't know. Brand new car for her. We're all kind of going over it and taking a look at it it's it's actually really nice uh just well we'll see that's i mean that's the way mine looked when i brought it home so we'll see next time we see it if it still looks like this or or uh if she if she gets the bug like we all do and starts doing stuff uh all right back over here we got the mustang like i was telling you guys look at this one Full, full purpose built, full gut, caged, you know, race seated, like, this, this is a runner, this is a beautiful car, um, that's cool, so, we've got, a uh, one of the Porsches came out, and then we've got, so, so this is, this is, this is what we were talking about, okay, and, and, you know, granted, we're, we're, you know, looking at race car type stuff and everything, so you've got the coupe which honestly if you only looked at it from the outside you'd be like oh man it's just kind of a beat civic whatever whatever oh yeah you know he's got a he's got a little cagey stuffed in it but literally you pop the hood and that is the jewel that is under the hood you know full case swap harnessed up everything else like it's actually really clean like it it's really clean under the hood he's got a little tube frame set up underneath um and you would never know from looking at it from the outside you know this isn't this isn't one unless you're making a ton of noise or acting up that the cops would even take a second look at and and again i mean that i mean that in a good way um full gut got just the bare essentials inside um and that's it i bet this thing is a blast on the track 
So we got a couple other cars here. I'll show you guys what's inside the shop, but they are playing music. So there's only gonna be so much I can show you there. Um, we've got another really, really clean EG over here. Um, blue on white. The blue on white, I don't know. There's something about, there's something about the white TEs. I, I don't know. I, I think I like the white TEs. Um, I think the white TEs are like my favorite color out of all of them. You guys comment, what color TEs? Because, you know, like I said, they always look good on everything. Um, super, super clean. Like everything about this car. Little B18C. Everything fits in there nice. It's got the red Recaros, which is, which is you know, fitting of, of this car and this generation. And then uh, we'll run down the line. I'll show you the rest of the cars that are here. We got a little prepped S2000 on some RPF 01s. And then had a couple of the big boys come in down here. Uh, GT3 and the Lexus. Uh, again, Lexus is on a you know some some really nice TEs got a nice little project EK here looks like it I mean really the way it sits throw some paint on it and it's a clean car you know I, you already got your wheels you got it you know you got a little suspension on it throw some paint on it you know all right so I teased you guys when I was first walking through and I'm gonna come back to them. So we've got two right-hand drives, two Type R's. We've got, I don't know, what's probably arguably, you know, the the most sought after, you know, I mean, outside of outside of like an NSXR or something something like that. But these, but this right here, these are the Type R's. I mean, you've got. A spoon themed ITR here, uh, spoon wheels, spoon brakes, and just really simply done. It doesn't need to be overdone. You know, it's got front lip on it, uh, got, got your red Recaros, and just the other little spoon goodies spoon steering wheel, shifter, you know. And this car, the way it sits, that's it. It doesn't it doesn't need anything else you know it's in it's in your champ white which of course is you know the what you think of every time you think of a type r you know you think think of a type r it's always champ white you know yes they made other colors you know it's your yellows your blacks you know or red but but when you think of a type r that's what color you think of you think of you think of just a champ white and then behind that is sitting a beautiful Civic Type R. Uh, EK9, spoon calipers, Mugen wheels, and again, you know, has its red Recaros and everything else, and that's it. What else does it need? It's super, it's super clean, and uh, I don't know, I need one of these. This is, I definitely, I'm definitely, uh, I, I keep looking at these harder and harder and I, I don't know. I, I keep, every time I go to a Honda thing, I, I want another Honda. And I don't know, this one, this one right here, you guys, in between the two. Uh, I mean, we saw these at, at the other meet. And I kind of asked you guys, in between the two, what do you think? Civic Type R or Integra Type R? Which one? If you guys had the choice, drop that comment below and let me know. In between the Civic Type R and the Integra Type R, which one, which one would you go to? You know, they, for me, both these cars are, are really, you know, this is what I came up with. So I, I really love these cars. But um, if you guys had to choose in between the two, which one would you pick? Um, I, for me, I, I think I'm on the Civic. Uh, I think I'm on the EK9 first, but we'll see. We'll see. I, I, 
I, I, I need to do some shopping. I, well, I need to not do some shopping. I need to, all right, I need to get the, I need to get the, the GTR running. I need to get on the track with the GTR. And then, and then we'll start talking about, and then we'll start talking about the Hondas again. Um, let me, I'm gonna show you a couple more that are out here and then uh, we'll run through what's inside. But like I said, we've got the music playing inside, so I can't really walk and talk inside and show you. Uh, we got a nice little Evo that's out here. Get the old Honda S600. I think it's called an S600, the old Honda. And then uh, nice, beautiful uh, S2000 here that just got cleaned up, that just got polished. Uh, got the got the chassis, the undercoat, you know, the the ice cleaning done and everything else underneath. So that uh that yellow that yellow s2000 right there is is looking looking better than it did you know when it was when it came off the off the assembly line so uh let me go inside let me let me show you guys what's inside and uh you guys let me know. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today. Um, you guys, let me know what you think. Drop those comments below. Let me know if you like these little meets where I kind of try and spend more time on specific cars and everything else. Um, I, I really like coming out to meets like this because it's, uh, I mean, hanging out with everybody, it's more like family. It's, you know, it's just, it's really nice. There's a, there's a handful of really good cars that come out. Everybody that comes out is, is you know, great to hang out with, talk with and everything else. And you know, like, like literally they had a barbecue running. Uh, they were just finishing up on the spare ribs. Like, uh, I, they, so anyways, you guys let me know what you think. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna head to the next one. Um, if you guys like the, the small meets like this where I spend more time on specific cars and everything else, you guys let me know that. Drop those comments below. Let me know if you liked it and uh, I'm gonna get headed over to the next one. So I'll see you guys there. Thanks.